Hello and welcome to video number 42 in this series of videos program with Chess Engine in C. So we're near the stage of some excitement. Uh, we need to write in this video just the technical take move function and the following video we can finally start looking at what our move generator and take and make and undo are going to do for us. So I'll go through this quite a bit quicker than the previous one because the principles are exactly the same. It's just doing everything that make move did but backwards and a little bit simpler because some of the information is stored in the history array. So without further ado, I'll take this chunk of code already here and paste it in and then talk through it. We don't need that though. So assert that the board's OK. Decrement history ply and ply because they were incremented during make move. From the history array we can now get the move that was made because you remember it was stored in make move and from the move here we can get the from and the to square. And the only thing to be careful of in take move of course is when we're adding piece or when we're moving a piece the from and to are then effectively reversed. We're going from the to to the from because we're taking the move back. And that's the only real gotcha there is in this function if you're trying to write it yourself. So the next thing we do is update some information and from the history array and the hash. So if the ampersand square is set, hash it out and also hash out the castle permission. Now set the new castle permission ampersand square from what we had in our history array, so what it was before the move was made. And then if the ampersand square is set, then hash that back in and hash the castle permission again in case it's changed. Flip the side and hash the side key. All fairly simple. And then just as in make move, if it was an ampersand capture, now at 2 minus 10, if it was white that made the ampersand capture, we add back in rather than clearing a black pawn and if it was black who captured then we add back in a white pawn respectively 2 minus 10 and 2 plus 10 and if it was a castling move doing the and with the castling flag then again we do a switch on the 2 square and depending on which 2 square it is we then move the appropriate rook back onto its original starting square and we still have the assert in here so that we can see if the two square actually just came up with an illegal square. Next, we've sorted all that out, so we do our moving of the piece back to its two square on the board, and this comes of course now before capture, because we want to move our piece away before we add the captured piece on the two square, otherwise we'd be moving the captured piece back to the from square, if you think about it. Update our King array, which will probably be removed in a couple of videos' time. And now, just as in make move but the reverse, we see if we captured anything. If we did, assert that the piece was okay that we captured, and add this piece onto the two square, add the captured piece onto the two square, which is why, first of all, we moved our piece back before doing this. And last but not least, If we promote it, then our assert line just as in make move that the piece we promoted to was valid. We now clear our piece from the from position because say we promoted to a queen, we would have taken back our move and there'll now be a queen on the seventh rank instead of the pawn. So we now need to add instead, once we've cleared this say queen off the from square, we now need to add on the from square the appropriate pawn depending on what colour we are. So for white, we had a, a white pawn. If not, we had a black pawn. And finally, right at the end of the function, we call our checkboard again just to check that everything has stayed as it should be after we've done all of this manoeuvring and moving about. OK then, so that's the take move function implemented. I'll just go to the top of it here and pause for a couple of seconds if you're trying to type it out and I've gone much too quickly so you can see the top half of the function and pause the video. And now I'll go down to the bottom half of the function, or the next bit of the function, and pause again, leave it for a few seconds there so you can pause. And now just down to the bottom section of the function again so you can pause and copy the code out if you haven't downloaded it and pasted it in. So that's it for this video. It's short and sweet, but like I said, everything was explained thoroughly inside the make move function. And the next video we shall compile all of this in fact that's a good point there i think actually i'll run make on this now just to check good next video we shall 
add our definitions for these functions into devs.h, compile it all, and then run some tests on the move generators. You can see the program generating a few million moves a second. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.